let's talk about why the Lions being the number one team in the NFL right now doesn't really matter. Um, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And it don't matter. Um, I know a lot of people is probably like, you know, it's good to be number one. But guess what? You want to be number one in February. You know, you want to be playing your best football you know, coming out of December, going into January, you want to start really starting to hit your stride. Remember that Green Bay team with Aaron Rodgers that made that Super Bowl run? You know, they started to really hit their stride going into the playoffs. Um, you want to be getting healthy and playing your best football. And that's why you kind of can't count out San Francisco. You know, they getting healthy. You know, um, you know uh, L.A. getting healthy. Just talk about the NFC West for a minute. So it's going to be a dog race. You know, Seattle playing some good football right now. You know, they getting back on track. So, really, you really want to be playing your best football and you want to be getting healthy around that time. So, you want to be healthy, playing your best football, um, you know, around that time. So, uh, right now, being number one, I mean, it's cool. Like Jared Goff said, like, you don't get no rewards for being number one in James, you know, right in November. We seen Philadelphia go ten and one last year, and you know they slip and they never was able to get up, and that was you know perhaps due to Jalen Hurts' shoulder injury allegedly or some internal issues they had going on. So we don't know. So, but you know they just fell off a cliff. So you really want to be playing your best football. After that Thanksgiving break, you want to start hitting your stride. And one thing I said about the Lions, I talked about that defensive backfield. I said it's going to start to get better right around the halfway part. And for the most part, that's what they waiting on. This even happened if they signed that linebacker, David Long. I don't think they signed him yet. But we'll see what happens. But the secondary is going to start to manifest into something special. I said that. Remember I said that right around the halfway point, we're going to start seeing it come together. F.A. Melifano had a setback. Maybe we see him in a few weeks. Emmanuel Mosley coming back. Who? On a side note, Roger Martin got activated to the 53-man roster. Guess what? That helped the defensive line tremendously. That's going to keep Aleem McNeil fresh. That's going to keep D.J. Reader fresh. That's going to take pressure off of Anzarike and Makai Wingo. So when you get somebody like that back, you know, physically he moving a little bit better. Now, you know, he maybe can play a couple passer downs if you need him to. That's always good to get back. You know, a guy like so now you're seeing that secondary starting to kind of jail now. You know, Kirby Joseph and Brian Branch, they excel. Terry on Arnold, you know, you look at Quinn Yon Mitchell and he's the one of the best corners in the league. That's why he was rated number one in the draft. But Terion is playing well, too. Not that well, but playing well. Carlton Davis is playing well. In a contract year, you expect that. And McRobbins is not playing too shabby. Yeah, he got the dumb penalty versus Green Bay, but he ain't playing too shabby. You know, offensively, you know, they starting to kind of like figure it out. You know, Jamison Williams is changing the game, and you know, Tim Patrick, big body, and him, and Allen Robinson. Hopefully, they continue to chart. They continue to change the game. That's really who they need to get going. Laporta starting to get going a little bit. He was injured last week. Jamo getting going again, but Tim Patrick is probably the guy they really need. To so, but yeah, like, yeah, you know, you being the number one team right now, you don't mean shit. You don't mean absolutely nothing. So, you know, really, and what would be so funny about it, those wild card teams, like, they be, they really end up being some of the best teams out there. Come the right time because they plan to get in. And when they get in, it's really no pressure because we really ain't supposed to be here. 
every week, every week been do or die, every week been a playoff game. And before you look up and know it, they playing their best football. And they playing hot. Green Bay last year got hot. You know, they was one Aaron Jones run away. Had he had the breakaway speed, had that been Josh Jacobs, they would have been in the NFC Championship game going to Detroit. Instead of Detroit going to San Francisco. You know? So when you start talking about you just want to be getting hot at the right times. That's what you want. You want to be getting hot at the right times. So, yeah. So you start talking about being number one and blase this, blase that. Yeah, that shit don't matter right now. Shit, honestly, outside of home field advantage, being number one in playoffs don't matter. Being that team that's healthy and hot. Being double H, healthy and hot. So, and people say he's just Philadelphia and Detroit. It's like right now, shit, you never know. You never know. San Francisco is still a threat. They the day to me, they the most dangerous team. They the most dangerous team. Because they got the experience. Even though they ain't in it right now, they got the experience and they starting to get healthy. You don't want to see them in the first, second round. They're a dangerous football team. But also on the on the flip on the bad side for them, that window closing. For them, that window closing. Yup, that window closing for them. That window's closing. That window's closing. So with that being said, and that and that window, and that window is starting to close, it might be do or die for them. This year. But you can't count them out. So really, a lot of them teams that be struggling in January. I mean, they be struggling right now. And they, they, they got a, they got a sprint, the last back half of the marathon to make it to the playoff. They usually the hottest team and the most dangerous team. Like I said, Green Bay was one, job, one Aaron Jones breakaway from winning. They really was. So, but uh, yeah, you know, I don't look forward to it, man. But I think, uh, I think it's gonna be exciting coming down the stretch. I just don't think it's a two man race. You know, in the AFC, you just never know neither. You know, Kansas City lost one game, and guess what? It's the end of the world to a lot of people. In my opinion, it ain't, but <laughs> it's one game. It probably was a relief for them to lose that game. Now they can play a little bit looser. Uh, but, hey, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Memo, CJ Good 313. Pick out the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Memo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the Trade Line Talk playlist. Peace.